Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show in Shine. Well this week we have a really cool model kit for you. This is my dad's 1930 Packard Boattail Speedster. Now check this thing out. This is really cool. This was part of that uh, Harris Museum collection that they came out with back in the 1970s. And this is a really interesting color scheme we got going on here. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and I will discuss this nice Packard further. Now here's a really cool car. This is my dad's 1930 Packard Boat Tail Speedster from Monogram. It's molded in this really interesting salmon kind of color with the brown fenders. Now that's actually how it came from Monogram in the 1970. Uh, Reno Nevada Museum edition and there you can see it's got the white walls now these white walls are not painted they're actually inserts that came in the kit and then the nice side mounted tires my dad built this with the stone shield up front and uh, there's your Packard radiator just behind it when I built mine I left that off I built the uh, Fiaton now one thing that is a feature on this car is that you can remove the top and they also give you the down boot as well, which hooks into here. There's a couple of little points where it would go. Just like that. And then that's what it looks like with the boot down. Now, unfortunately, this area does not open, which would have been nice. You can see the Nevada license plate here for 1930. It also has 1969 up here. So that's the Harrah's Auto Museum. That's what I was trying to remember. So the other thing you can do is you can lift up the hood on this very carefully, like so, to reveal the Packard Straight 8 underneath. Now I'll just bring this up into the camera here. Let's just rotate it around this way. So I'll remove this top in case it goes flopping off. And one thing about the Roadsters here with the tops is you can actually take a look at the interior inside. So there's our Packard Straight 8 engine. Just like it's supposed to look, you can see the coupling down below for the steering. If I just hold this for a minute. There it is right there. And then as we move this around, it also has the ignition timing molded in place up here on the firewall, which is pretty interesting. Either that or it's a serial number. <laughs> There's our Packard straight eight motor from the exhaust manifold side. As well as the intake. So again, really cool. Now, if you take a look, this almost looks like bare metal foil, but I, I don't know if it is. I don't think it's BMF. They didn't have that back in the 70s unless my dad added it in later. Anyway, inside the interior, you'll notice that the driver's seat is more ahead and the passenger seat is behind. There's also this little storage area just behind the driver. There's a gear shift lever. This has a uh, more conventional stick shift that, as we would know it anyway. There's also a nice little bar down here for your footrest. And there's all the gauges and our steering wheel. Now this doesn't have the uh, steering wheel where you turn like the Johan models or the MPC and the front wheels turn, which is a good thing really. In fact, the uh, wheels are quite stationary. So what I'll do is I will turn this car on its side so we can see up underneath. Here's our Packard flipped on its side so we can see up underneath. And you'll notice that the front leaf springs are actually half covered. Now what they used to do is they would wrap the fronts of the springs up and coat them in grease and this was a cover in here just to keep all these lubricated as the car is flexing up and down and i do believe the grease would have come out of the front and moved its way into the leafs in the back but i'm not exactly sure on that also we have the spring dampeners up in here on the differential and that's just to add a little more tension in here so the car doesn't bounce all over the place as you're going down the road. You can see the bottom of that big straight eight engine in here with the transmission. Look at the little tiny drive shaft in here compared to the transmission in the back. It's quite huge. And there's that nice differential. 
Now dad left all this unpainted because back in the day Packard would actually paint the frame in order to match the body color. So again that's another little cool bit of Packard history. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that look at the 1930 Packard Boat Tail Speedster that my dad built. Now, that was a really cool kit, wasn't it? If you've built these Packards in the past, because I know they've been reissued a few times, let us know in the comments section down below exactly how you painted it, how you liked it. Did you find it went together easily, or did you have some hard times with it? Well, all this stuff we want to know and much, much more. Just give us a comment. Now, if you enjoy these model cars, wouldn't it be cool if you could see them all in a big display, maybe at a museum, where they're all in like the period correct scenes with maybe a person standing beside the Packard and, you know, this kind of thing. Maybe something cool going on like Al Capone or whatever. I don't know. Well, what we want to do is in the future, maybe in the next five years or so, we want to open up a museum that's dedicated to both my model cars and my father's in a really cool setting and all these different scenes. Like there's a, a my dad built a lot of fire trucks, so I want to build a scene that incorporates those. There's some figures from ICM, which are like vintage firemen. I think it would be really cool. And if you're hip and you're down and you're cool with that, don't forget to click that join button for as little as three dollars a month you can help us reach that goal now if you want to get your own model cars and build your own really cool thing check out our website at www.monster-hobbies.ca we ship around the world including the united states which is our cousins to the south so if you want to get in on some model cars, check us out, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video so it goes all the way around YouTube. The thumbs up button really helps. More of those, the better the views. So until next time, everybody, happy model building and follow your dreams.